is going on guys Zuggy fishing here back to you with another video today is going to be one of the most one of the craziest videos we've ever done on the channel so right here we have our two contestants sean Hi. and mr matt wood what's up so today we have an insane challenge i actually thought of a long time ago but today we're putting it in play we're at a pond today and at this pond, there is a tiny island. That's literally it, right there. Matt and Sean are going to be competing to see who could stay on the island the longest, and they are gonna win something. So we have a tiny island in the middle of the pond right here. It's literally nowhere inside. We have a kayak right here. We got some fishing gear. We got a ton of supplies. We have some lawn chairs. We have also what we are going to be getting them if they win. So basically the way this challenge is gonna work, 1v1, and I'm obviously not doing it, 1v1, but whoever stays on the island the longest is the winner. So in other words, whoever comes off first loses. There's also a lot of weeds there, so we brought some hedge cutters, almost tripped. We brought some hedge cutters so we can cut those weeds so they can have a fully fledged island. And the winner of this challenge is going to get a Shimano Stratic 2500 HG spinning reel. John, you think you're gonna win? Yeah. Matt, what do you think you're gonna win? Yes. All right, well, we got we got uh, two competitors here today, for sure. We've had this idea for a really long time, and Sean and Matt Wood have both been trash talking each other. So, it's gonna be an interesting competition. The Stratic's one of my favorite spinning reels, for sure. I have it, if you've seen my videos, you know I've used it on a lot of different rods and reels. Pretty sick reel. This reel value is around $200. And uh, Sean and Matt Wood both need a spinning reel. So I thought this would be the perfect thing to compete for. We have a kayak right here. And the way they are going to be getting to the island is this kayak. So we're gonna actually start today's challenge. And uh, it could take hours, it could take days, it could take months, it could take nights, or it might take literally an hour, I don't even know. But another rule about this challenge is they have three requests. Now what that means is that they can literally ask me for whatever they want and I will send it over in the kayak to them. It could be like, Zuggy, go to Target and get me some food. Zuggy, go to Avenue Deli and get me a sub. And I'll be like, yeah, sure. And I'll go get it and I'll supply them on the island. Got tons of food, tons of water. So all that stuff's covered. So don't have to worry about that. Got sunscreen, all that kind of stuff. If they need anything throughout this challenge, I will provide. So whoever stays on the island the longest wins the Shimano Stratic and also have some bonus things and surprises I'm gonna be bringing to them throughout the video. Oh! <laughs> Our first python at the stud fish, y'all. I have it. I have it. Look at this fish. It's a 10 pounder. Ah, 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 That's like a 300 pound goofer. We have the kayak ready to go and everyone's ready to go to the island. So we're going to actually launch the first contestant, Mr. Sean, on the island. And once they get on the island, they're going to push the kayak back. So hopefully it doesn't flood off, you know, in the middle of nowhere. All right, kayak is in the water, and Sean's going in. So yeah. By the way, guys, it is, let me check the temperature right now. And, and another thing is that we might have some storms approaching around three or five o'clock, the last time I checked the weather. So if that does happen, of course, you know, safety, we gotta get off of it. But of course, we'll resume the challenge as soon as it stops. Oh yeah, I forgot about that part. That might be a little tough. So I'm pretty sure it's like 91 degrees out right now. So it's actually very hot, but luckily the island is like, it'll get shaded once the sun comes over a little bit more. And he's on. John is officially on the island and he's unloading the, uh, the packages right now. And then we're gonna get Matt Wood in the kayak and he's gonna send it over with the lawn chairs. And then this challenge will begin once he officially steps on the island. Oh, what a push. What a push. That's a beauty. It is a beauty indeed. Oh no! Oh, there's Sean is officially on the island and Matt Wood is now gonna pile up in the kayak. We're gonna get him on and then this challenge begins. Matt Wood is officially in the kayak. So Sean's getting a cutting out there. Ugh, and he's off. But this thing has not started yet once Matt Wood steps on the island. Alrighty, Matt Wood has officially stepped foot on the island and it is 1.08 p.m. right now. 1.09, we'll start at 1.09 p.m. this challenge is starting and they are officially on the island ready to go send her back all righty we got the yak out we got the two contestants mr sean and matt wood on the island y'all how you feeling good <laughs> this challenge is officially underway y'all so so hyped for this one so uh now we just wait to see who gets off the island first i'm obviously gonna be running the marins and doing um some other stuff for them but could take uh could take an hour could take 
20 minutes could take the whole night. I don't know. We're just figuring out how to chop at it right now. I think I'm gonna go to the store and get them some surprises. All right, so we're in the car right now. I'm in the car right now. They're obviously not in the car. 134 right now. We started at 109. They're on the island. And right now, I'm gonna be a nice gentleman. Give them a little surprise and get them a cooler with ice and drinks and some Chick-fil-A. And I'm also gonna get myself some Chipotle. We're gonna get them some lunch and uh, I'm gonna cool down in here. And uh, I don't. I wonder how they're. Uh, wonder how they're doing right now. All right, so we're we're 30 minutes in. It is still really hot. Sun's right on us. Uh, Matt Wood's fishing. Matt Wood, how you doing? I'm doing pretty well. Yeah. It's very hot though. It is very hot. I'm not, I'm still not leaving. I'm going strong. What about you? Not leaving? I'm not leaving just yet. All right. So uh, here's the island so far. We cut down all these little branches and. Uh, set up our two chairs. Alrighty, so I just got Sean and Matt Wood some Chick-fil-A lemonades and some nuggets and some fries. And I got myself some Chipotle. Also got them a cooler full of ice packs. Give us an update. Oh, pretty good. Nice. So I'm gonna send the supplies on the kayak to them and they're gonna have their lunch. It is officially right now the first checkpoint 2.15 p.m. So it's been about a little over an hour. So uh, they're doing good. It's getting shady out. And we might have some cloud cover because a possible storm might come through. And they're eager for the food right now. They were pushing them off. Gotta get a hard push, make sure it's straight. Yes, yes. We're an hour in the challenge, continue to wait. We're uh, back at the islands. Here's Sean. <laughs> <laughs> We're eating some Chick-fil-A. We're about an hour and a half in. Absolutely zero fish to be caught. I've come to the conclusion that there's no fish in this place. Like we that. chopped down some weeds. The island we looks a little better. Too. Got some Chick-fil-A. I dropped my fries. Some lemonade. Sean dropped some fries down there. And now we're just chilling. All right, so it's been just over two hours. Going good, just finished our Chick-fil-A. Um, dumped some water on our heads. You know, I'm, I'm going strong. How about, how about you, Matt? Um, I'm doing all right. It got hotter by a lot, actually. And the sun went away for about a minute, came back, um, and now it's even worse. Yeah, we, we were in the shade for a little bit, um, but now not, so it's a little hot. Here's the island now. Cut down some more branches, but yeah. Big filet lemonade was the best thing though. Oh, it was gas. It's keeping me alive. We got a game time update. It is officially, let me check the time, 3.33 p.m. Sean and Matt Wood are still chilling over there. We started at 109, so we've been here for about two and a half hours and they're going strong. They're going strong. They're actually doing really good. Thought, uh, honestly thought by this point someone would get out, but you know, it's not happening. They have three requests, by the way. We can't forget that. So whenever they want a request, I have to go get it. Food does not count, because like you need food and water. I'm talking about like entertainment or like bug spray or like something like that. There you have it, a little uh, three hour update, about 421 right now, and uh, they're still going strong. I'm actually very shocked. I thought this was gonna take like two hours, but it's actually like, actually do going like i'm very shocked they got a good little setup over there too they got the two chairs they got the coolers they were playing some cards 420 so we started at 108 so it's been a little bit over three hours now um it got a little bit cooler but it's probably still in the 90s I'm not getting out i'm winning the stratic i don't care what it takes days months years <laughs> i'm not getting out it's like you fishing is over there I don't plan on losing either, so I so guess we're just going to be here for about two years. That's um, So we're going to have to just see. So, another update. It is 5.20. We've been here for about four hours. Getting my, uh, cri oh, Krispy Kreme, sorry. Yeah, the sun went away for like five minutes, which was nice, but yeah, I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm not getting out. What about you, Matt Wood? Yo. Yeah, the sun's going down. Feels pretty good. Um, absolutely no bass to be found, but yeah, it's, it's rough. It's pretty, pretty bad pond. Yeah. yeah. Alrighty, so Sean actually made his first request. I'm gonna pop it up on the screen. He wanted a bunch of Krispy Kreme donuts, and that's exactly what I got. Made over to Krispy Kreme. Got him three blueberries, one strawberry, and two glazed. So Sean now has two requests. 
That one has three requests left and it is officially, we'll do a little time check here, 5.26 p.m. So you've been here for about four and a half hours. I was actually gonna set like a minimum of four hours, but you guys, I didn't have to say it. You just did it. We're gonna send them over in the act. Perfect. They're still going strong. I'm actually shocked about this because I honestly thought they would go out in two hours, but so there's another little island update, I like to call it. You know, we're island living right now. They're, they're island living, I should say. They're enjoying a nice donut right now. Yet another time check. I'm still shocked these guys are here. Like, actually crazy. 6.10 p.m. right now. 6.10 p.m. And they're still here. They've officially been here for about five hours now. Literally, like, we looked at the clock, it was like 5.20, and now it's freaking 6.10. Like, crazy. But I called my boy Bass Bros. If you know Bass Bros, he came to New Jersey a while ago, and I asked him to how to make this challenge harder for these guys, because they are not budging right now. They are literally, like, so determined to stay here. So Joey had this really good idea of not allowing them to sit on the chairs to make it harder. Maybe their legs get tired and they want to leave or something like that. 6, 11 p.m. We are starting the no chair rule. Pretty, going pretty strong. Here's Sean. What's up? A bit fatigued, however. I'm not fatigued. <laughs> all of us are. In about a minute, no more sitting down. So we have to stand up. It's gonna be pretty rough. Yeah. The sun's setting currently. <laughs> we're, we're gonna see how this goes. Sean's Krispy Kreme got delivered. Fold them up. Chairs are officially folded up. So to make this challenge a little harder, we have a no sit rule now. The time is approximately 6.40. We've been here now since 1.08. So over five hours, like five and a half hours now. We are no longer allowed to sit down, so we're just standing up now, which is pretty uncomfortable. Yeah, so, um, going good. Sun went down, finally, behind the trees, almost. Um, Ryan's gonna get us some Poke Bowl soon, so, that's dinner. Five hours into the challenge, and they are not budging at all. I thought this was gonna take two, but it's now taking five. I've been going back and forth, by the way. If you guys think I've been here the whole time, that's false. I've been going back to the house and doing stuff and whatever. So I'm gonna head back to the house, probably settle for a little bit, and then I'll come back and see what uh, we all want for dinner, because uh, it's approaching that time. Folks, I have not seen you guys in a long time. Neither have they. This is crazy. I'm actually amazed that they're still on this island. It is 8.32 p.m. right now. They've been here for seven and a half hours. Oh my gosh. How are you feeling? I need a new reel. New reel? Okay. All right. All right. So y'all, it's 8.32 and I brought some gifts. These are not requests. These are just like surprises. I bought Sean a poke bowl, which is like a sushi bowl, and then Matt Wood wanted some Wendy's. All right. Sending it over right now. That was perfect. Food has been acquired. It's been officially eight hours of them being on the island. As I said earlier, I thought this was gonna be a two hour thing. It's been eight, and y'all, they are still going strong. They now have headlamps. It's really tough to see them, but, oh, you're not, there they are. There's Matt Wood, and there's Sean. They are still going strong. It, what, what's the time? 9.20 right now. They are going strong, and I am shocked out of my mind that they're still here. But we got some flashlights, so I'm very curious to see how long this goes. The skies still do have some color to them. So y'all, I don't really, not really good at these challenges, but made it harder to do the non-standing thing. And now there, no one's coming off. And I'm gonna give an incentive. I'll give a $50 bill to whoever comes off first. And another big concern of ours is that there's three foxes or coyotes. Or coyotes, we don't know. That have been hunting around. And there's been like coyote attacks around. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> that is scary. Who's taking the hundred? Oh my goodness. Yo, I'm oh sending. Dude. <laughs> oh my god. Dude. Oh my gosh. Y'all, this is not good. We completely forgot about the coyote attacks and the surrounding towns. 
in the last few uh, weeks, there's been like coyote attacks, like legit, they attack people. And now there's a bunch of those raccoons over there and they're coming in the water. So this is not good. I did not think this all the way through. Y'all, I'm trying to give them incentives to go out just because this literally is so dangerous. It's literally, literally a gone wrong video because I completely forgot about the coyotes and crap like that. So not good, should have thought of this, but We'll definitely do more challenges again in the future with, you know, better thought out plan. This is literally like kind of last minute. You can get a rod, a reel, baits in line. You will, you're done, Matt Wood? Dude, I hear something over there. Dude, this is actually a gone wrong challenge, literally. There's probably, I know there's, there's raccoons over there. There's raccoons over there. You guys can't literally even see me. But something might be creeping up on my back. Officially done with this challenge after almost nine hours, Matt Wood has gotten a the incentive prize. I had to make it more challenging or else, you know, this, this might have not gone well. We might have, you know, got eaten by something. But Matt Wood gets a rod of real baits in line and uh, Sean gets um, the Stratic. But this is not gonna be the only challenge like this. It was definitely not the right move to go overnight, literally, because I literally just forgot. People got attacked not far from us. But y'all, I'm sorry for like a anticlimactic end ending, but you know, it is what it is, gotta, comply to the safety stuff first dude there's something rustling over here but like obviously i didn't want to do that because of the uh animals and stuff like that we did it finally officially almost nine hours pretty much nine hours later but uh they're gonna come out right now and we're gonna we're gonna head home and then i'm gonna distribute the prizes there's mr matt wood good game sir i'm happy bump. i'm happy with the owl right there <laughs> sean is officially on land in these type of challenges that we're gonna start on the channel sean is the first victorious one yeah so basically there, there was not a doubt in my mind that i wasn't winning that challenge <laughs> um <laughs> yeah basically as soon as i stepped on that island i knew i was already a winner i knew i was getting a stratic um it was it was a great great performance. Right? I'm actually happy too. I was surprised when that went for us. <laughs> did not expect that. You didn't expect him to nine, do that? Nine hours? Oh nine hours. Yeah, no, I didn't expect either of you to do nine I honestly, hours. I was hoping to get out at what? Four o'clock? It's ten oh five right now. Gosh. We're just gonna take the stuff back and uh, we'll distribute the prizes in the car. We're gonna distribute the prizes for today's winners. Here we have it. The Shimano Stratic. Here you go, Sean. Victory is yours. W. W. Heck yeah, it's good stuff. Got the Stratic. You can keep the box, it's a souvenir. Alrighty, Matt Wood got his consolation prizes. The challenge is officially over. After nine long hours of filming and sitting and yada, we're done officially. Obviously it'll be better planned out next time. Thank y'all for watching. Oh glory to God, be positive, just fish.